Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to a day off. Oh, I love days off. They're so nice. I always kind of struggle with like day off should I sleep in because my body needs it or should I get up at like a regular time because maybe I should not sleep half my day off but then I'm like it's the only time I can recover and I mean I haven't got up yet but in good news my body feels like it doesn't hurt I'm like yesterday where it was a struggle and um, I actually woke up before the alarm I set, so I think we're good. I think we're rested. I have a couple errands to run today, but I should probably get out of bed and like feed myself first and prepare for the day. And last night while I was trying to get to sleep, I was like having crazy good brainstorming ideas about where my book is going next, book two that I'm working on. So I need to like actually get those down on paper because I've been struggling a little bit. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good day. So I'm gonna actually get out of bed now, I promise. And I will check in with you later. Am I procrastinating from something? If you guessed yes, because my bed is made, my room is tidy, I'm dressed and also wearing makeup, you would be correct. <sighs> I'm, I got stuff I gotta do today, but I didn't wanna do it. So now my room is almost spotless. So that's awesome. There's a little bit more I could clean, but I'm, I'm cool. I think I can get into the task at hand. And then we'll just kind of see how the day goes. Um, I have some errands I have to run out of the house at some point, but we'll get there eventually. Not too concerned, just as long as it gets done at some point today. So that's exciting. I'm also going to try to rock the down hair today. We'll see how big it gets as the day goes on because it tends to do that. But now we're sitting in the computer chair. I was going to say in the computer desk. But now we're sitting in the computer chair, so that means that it's like list time and phone calls and all the stuff I hate doing. Ah. Okay, so I've actually been being really productive so far today. I've made some phone calls. I've done some more research into literary agents to query. I haven't queried yet because come on, <laughs> we know me. Um, and now I think I am going to try to do some writing for a little bit. My mom's going to come pick me up here in a bit because, like I said earlier, I have errands to run and she has errands to run. So we're going to go do that. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a decently productive day so far. Let's hope that continues and hope that I actually do get some writing done. Maybe I'll hit my word count for today. Let's not make promises we probably can't keep, but it might happen. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can get a bunch of writing done here before she texts me and says she's on her way. Because I feel like that's going to happen. I'm going to like get into it and she's going to be like, I'm coming. But we'll see. Okay, so uh, my mom just texted me and she said she's on her way. So that's great. I got about a thousand words in. So we're halfway to the goal for the first time this month. Like this is, this is, this is bad. But <laughs> I like just had my character go, maybe this would have been easier which has made me stop and go, wait, maybe that would have been easier. So now I think I might have to like rewrite the last two paragraphs that I just wrote. <sighs> the joys of writing. Anyway, we're making progress and that is what matters. And I'm excited about the story. I'm not feeling lost. Although a large part of what I wrote was my big, <laughs> like a big block in all caps that said, okay, this is what you want to write here, come back later and write this. Because I just get stuck up on the details sometimes and I don't like it. I mean, obviously I'm going to go back through and edit this all, so it's it's fine to do that. But I should probably put, I think I want to put on like some jeans or something because I just went outside to check the mail and it is brisk out there. So jeans might be a better call or like long sweatpants or something. I don't know. I ain't trying to be classy, but I don't know. We'll see. It, it, it was cold out there. All right. So I just got home, got some errands ran. If you remember recently, I got this like post-it note notes to-do list, I guess. Um, I think I paid about four bucks for it, but I, when I was out shopping with my mom, I found more and they were 99 cents each. <laughs> so I got four, which was about the price of one. So that's exciting because I've really been using it a lot. So I think it's a worthy investment for less than $5. But I'm home now and I'm going to try to get 
back into some writing maybe fingers crossed hopefully it'll be okay all right so i just had a little crafting project you can see from this mess over here so i've had this sweater forever and i think around october this button up here watch me like break it uh this button right here came off um and i've just been super lazy about sewing it back on like obviously i'm not gonna get rid of the sweater for one little button and so i was watching old footage recently like old uh vlogs and stuff and i saw this sweater i was like i missed the sweater and so i finally pulled it out and sewed it up and i'm so happy because it's so cozy oh let's get him frame but yeah so that's nice and it's like almost like a cardigan and like cardigans are my favorite thing to wear when i'm writing because they're not too hot and they're not too cold you can take them off easily put them back on yeah a good writing cardigan is key so i think that this will work and i mean it was easy to fix so if i do wreck it again we're, we're good but i need to clean up that mess now and then maybe actually get back into some writing i guess in an email too but overall pretty productive day but me <laughs> i did it i have written 2000 words for the day this is amazing i like this has not happened for a long time i mean i haven't been writing for a long time i've been like editing but this is this is great because it's it's day seven into my goal of deciding to write 2,000 words every day, and it's the first time that I've reached it. It's also only the third day I've written, so, you know, we're doing well. But it is about 20 to 7 now. I might go get something to eat. I don't know. I'm a little bit nibbly. Not, like, crazy nibbly, but a little bit. So we'll see. But, yeah, feeling good. Getting stuff done. I can cross that off my list. Where is my pen? Um... So that's exciting. It looks like the only two things left on my list are cardio, which I may or may not do, and queries with a question mark, which means I don't really have to do it if I don't want to. I mean, I don't have to do anything on my list if I don't want to, but feeling good. This is exciting. Making progress. Yes. I mean, I'm still going to have to edit the crap out of this the next time I go through it but we're feeling pretty good. Okay, so I decided to go do cardio. I did not take my makeup up first, which I should have because I noticed it was smearing beforehand, but what can you do? But I did, yeah, I did a bunch of cardio and then I did like some stretches and squats and all that fun stuff. And then I was like, oh, I should lay down and do some stretches while I lay down. And then I was like, okay, now I'm just gonna lay down. <laughs> so I probably like, just laid there for 10 minutes, just like, this is good. But I mean, our exercise room isn't, uh, insulated and it's a lot of windows so if you stay out there for too long it gets cold I mean you've seen me going out there like I'm freezing I need to get a machine but yeah I think I'm gonna go just take off the makeup because that yeah um but then I'm gonna eat some dinner I'm gonna make myself something light I think because I'm kind of hungry um when I was out with my mom and her boyfriend we had a late lunch like three o'clock so I don't need anything big but I definitely need something so I'm gonna go deal with this and maybe, I'm not gonna change yet, but maybe switch my sweater out to the one I fixed because I love it. And I will check in with you afterwards when I'm like fed and things are great. Okay, so food has been consumed and now it's face mask time. It's not very even around my mouth, but this is like pretty much as pale as I usually am. <laughs> um, yeah, just some self-care. Not Sunday anymore. Yesterday I was calling it self-care Sunday, so self-care Monday. And I think maybe I'm going to try to get a little bit more writing done here because it is only just after nine. So we'll see how I feel once I get this off and if I want to keep working or if I want to go to sleep. Either is very valid at this point. Whee! <laughs> I didn't think I could spin all the way around. There's not enough space in between here. Anyway, um, it is now 20 after 10. I, like I said earlier, hit my word count for the day. It was 2,214 words, so that's exciting. And then I just spent my time working on a fun project that has, like, no ramifications for... It, it's not it's not professional. It's just a fun writing project that only my good friends will ever see. So that was, that was good. And um, I tidied my room. I, like, put all my clothes away, put all my dirty clothes in the hamper, like... We are killing today, and just in general, I feel like I'm killing 2019. Like, I have made huge strides on my goals already for the year. I'm setting routines in place to, like, just be healthier and be happier and all that. There's a few things that I've kind of fallen off the wagon that I need to get back onto, but overall, I'm, like, 
we got this we got this um but i think now i'm gonna head to sleep because i do have to work tomorrow and already my body is getting a little bit sore from my workout earlier because like i've started one going a little bit longer with the cardio and two throwing in weights and like squats and all that fun stuff so I can tell that we're gonna be a bit stiff tomorrow so I do have my water bottle this is like my third one since I worked out <laughs> so it, it, sh it should be helpful right but um, with that I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure make sure you hit that subscribe button to come along on more adventures and with that I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things good night